I know when you hear the words interest rates and you hear this guy talking, you probably hear this. Soon be appropriate. Dingle bongle, dingle dangle, yickety doo, yickety da, ping pong, lippy tappy toot ta. Yes, what he says is often very confusing, but I promise what he said today is really important for all of us, so I'm gonna help you understand it. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell laid out the future of our economy as he sees it and interest rates during his press conference today. Now, originally, the Federal Reserve was planning on bigger interest rate hikes for a longer period of time, but because of the failure of those two banks just a couple of weeks ago, a lot has changed. I'll interpret. Since our previous FOMC meeting, economic indicators have generally come in stronger than expected, demonstrating greater momentum in economic activity and inflation. A few weeks ago, all the jobs data, inflation data, and consumer spending data came in way too hot. Americans were spending too much, inflation wasn't coming down fast enough, so we were fully prepared today to jack up interest rates. But then those two banks failed. We believe, however, that events in the banking system over the past two weeks are likely to result in tighter credit conditions for households and businesses, which would in turn affect economic outcomes. Because of those two bank failures, we believe the banking industry as a whole will start to pull back on credit, meaning they'll issue fewer loans to you for a car or for a home and to businesses to expand and to maybe hire more. Basically, we're banking on the banks to slow your spending so we don't have to do that much more. It is too soon to determine the extent of these effects and therefore too soon to tell how monetary policy should respond. Pump the brakes. We're not really sure yet what caused those banks to fail. I mean, we have an idea, but we're not really sure yet. So we're going to keep our options open when it comes to raising interest rates in the future. As a result, we no longer state that we anticipate that ongoing rate increases will be appropriate to quell inflation. Instead, we now anticipate that some additional policy firming may be appropriate. Just kidding. I know I told y'all last year that we were going to have to keep jacking up interest rates all 2023 because this inflation was so tough. But now we're going to just hang back and maybe raise it a little bit more. Sorry for the confusion. Today's move brought interest rates between four and three quarters percent and five percent. That's the highest level we've seen since 2007. Fed Chair Jerome Powell said there will be no rate cuts in 2023, but he believes by the end of this year, interest rates will rise to only 5.1%. By 2024, Powell expects the rate to go back down to 4.3% and then down again to 3.1% by 2025. But he did say he also expects unemployment to jump up from where it is today at 3.6% to 4.5% this year and 4.6% by 2024.